Talk to me about this piece because I actually don't understand it. The gain of function research piece. So you and Brett had identified this very early on because you saw, and maybe you can elaborate on this, something in the virus's DNA that would not have evolved in, or or is very rare to have evolved naturally, this fear and cleavage site. And you guys nailed it from go. First people I ever heard talk about it. What is gain of function research? Just just broadly. And as an evolutionary biologist, I mean, I would presume you're pretty damn qualified to talk about it. Or, or what do you, yes or no? Yeah, well, I mean, it's honestly, it's not a term I had ever heard before COVID hit because, uh, you know, that's, it's just not the realm where either Brett or I spend our time. I don't think either of us had ever heard of it, but the concept is really simple. The concept is uh, we can do something to an organism that exists with, with either with technology or with serial passaging in which we basically put it on repeat for many, many generations and select for particular things in that in the virus, in you know, it, it can be done in anything, really. It you control for elephant. evolution, basically, is what you're saying. It's a kind of high tech, usually artificial selection to to get to a result that you, the researcher, are hoping to get to. Or it could just be a like, hmm, let's see what happens, and then you end up with something. So, mm. um, yeah, there are a number of things, and I think you know, I mean, you mentioned many of them at the top of the hour. So there's the furin cleavage site, which exists in SARS-CoV-2, and nothing like. It exists in any closely related wild type virus. The bats that they were blaming on this virus don't exist for hundreds of miles. There is no evidence of it jumping, of of its closest relative jumping from bats to humans, except in a one cave a long way away a long time ago. The Wuhan Institute of Virology is right there in Wuhan. It has been collecting grants from the NIAID over, you know, overseen by Fauci, you know, and and passaged, as it were, through, boy, oh, EcoHealth Alliance with the, in concert with the lab in North Carolina, Barrick's lab. And so, you know, there's all of these coincidental observations that suggest that actually we know that they were they had applied to and received money to do gain of function research at that lab with these kinds of viruses. Right. Why would you blame the wet market? And then, you know, and this is this is maybe a little a little far afield, but you will remember, your audience will remember that anyone who talked about lab leak was accused of being a racist. Right. Oh, because and, yes, the China virus. We were all anti-Chinese people. If you think, yes, yeah. of course. And so That's you know, again, right. a little bit having been That's forged right. in fire. Bart and I were like, yeah, that again. Like, still not racist. Also, why is it more racist to talk about a U.S.-China research collaboration that went awry than to blame the crazy traditional culinary traditions of the Chinese? Which right. you know, frankly, the wet market explanation. Is more is racist. a lot more racist if we're going to totally go there. Totally agree with you. Right? Oh my God, Heather, it is so much more racist because as an American, I, I actually had this conversation with a friend who was Chinese before COVID, but about, I, you know, I struggle with these cultures and the fact, I'm sorry, the fact that you guys eat X, Y, Z and she ripped me a new one, a hole to elbow and was like, wow, well, first of all, all animal, animals are sentient. And second of all, look at your farming practices and this, that, the other. And we were starving in China while you were going to Taco Bell and it gave me the whole history of it. But arguably it was an absolute bias. And fortunately I have a good friend who's Chinese and grew up in China that was willing to discuss it with me and expose me. But without question, I would argue it would make more Americans prejudice against people who are Chinese because of that. You're totally right. 100%. Absolutely. Sorry, go Absolutely. on. And Forgive me. No, I mean, you know, the idea of wet market is dangerous. The wild is dangerous. Wild animals are dangerous is one of these ways, I think, that um, both researchers in gain-of-function research and the authorities are trying to keep us compliant by keeping us scared. And it's, it's, it's crap. Like, there is no evidence that we should be expecting a greater number of zoonotic jumps, that is, jumps from wild animals to humans now than we have before. Does it happen? Has it ever happened? Yes. There are, you know, 
absolutely that has happened. But there is there is no reason to expect that this is going to be happening with more more frequency now. And